functions that take slightly different amounts of time, differing only by a constant factor or a constant number, have the same order of growth. But some functions do differ by the order of growth. Now, when two functions differ by an order of growth, that usually means that one is just much, much faster than the other. So here are some comparisons of how to think about different orders of growth, where n is the problem size. If something is some base b to the n, even for a small base, that's exponential growth, which is very, very slow. And recursive fib without any memoization is one of these functions, where it's actually 1.618 to the n. Well, what that means is that incrementing the problem, so computing just the next Fibonacci number, scales the entire resources by a multiplicative factor. So it takes much more in order to do just one more problem size. And that's what exponential growth really means. And these things grow very fast. Okay, uh, quadratic growth, or theta n squared, means that you're doing some operation on all pairs of things. So incrementing n increases the resources by the problem size itself. And that's um, fairly expensive, but there are lots of order n squared algorithms in the world. We'll look at some of them throughout the course. Theta n, that's linear growth. Resources scale with the problem size. The bigger the problem, the more resources you need. But there's a linear relationship between them. Theta log n, well, the example of that we saw was the fast exponentiation. That's logarithmic growth. These processes scale very well because you can handle a problem that's twice the size with only an increment in the resources used. And the best of all is constant growth. The problem size just doesn't matter for how long these processes take. So this is a spectrum with the most important uh, types of orders of growth along the way. Now, um, there are other options. So you could have n to the sixth, which takes much longer than n squared, so it doesn't scale as well, but still scales much better than exponential growth. You could have square root of n, we saw that, and that's somewhere in between linear growth and logarithmic growth. And there are others, but they're not important for this class. The ones you really need to worry about are linear, logarithmic, constant, and exponential. And understanding quadratic growth is important too.